Hey everybody, Captain Kimo here and I have a quick video tutorial for you. This one is on how to create smooth skies in Photoshop from an HDR photo. Sometimes when merging together an HDR image, the sky can tend to be a little grainy or very blotchy. For instance, this image, um, I can show you, this is the before here, you can see the uh, all the uh, imperfections here. Doesn't look so great, but in Photoshop we can fix that and smoothen it out and I'm going to show you how to do that. Let me zoom out. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. Let me go ahead and start from a new file here. So what we're going to do is I'm going to just duplicate the background layer. I'm going to go here and just hit Control J, Command J on a Mac, duplicate the image, and then we're just going to go ahead and run Topaz Denoise real fast on this photo. Now I like Topaz Denoise because it does a little bit better of a job than the actual Denoise option in Photoshop. So. I'll just use the JPEG strong preset. I'll just go here real fast so you can see the uh, this is the before and then this is the after. So I'll use that and hit OK. Okay, so once we have our photo denoised, I'm just going to go ahead and create a new layer. So I'm going to click on this little icon in the bottom here to create our new layer. And then I am going to create a smooth gradient right in this image with the uh, gradient tool here. And I'm going to click on the option up here to get the uh, gradient option and what I want to do is I want to select the uh, a gradient color here that's in my image so if we were to click on the little the little dot here we don't want that palette we just want to click here to select this and then if we were to click outside that we can select any color in the image and the color I want to use is somewhere around here the lighter color or the lightest color in my gradient here in the sky and then I'm gonna click on the darker end and then I'm going to want to select the darker the darkest area of the sky and that will be good I'm gonna hit OK next I'm going to fill in this gradient here I'm gonna just drag from the top and hold shift and drag down this will create a straight line or a uh, straight gradient and then we're gonna change the uh, transparency mode here I'm gonna change it to darker color and you can see the gradient here looks okay but right around here it's a little off you can see here I'll just zoom in real fast and you can see it's off a little bit so let me go back out go back to the gradient tool and then we're just gonna play with the gradient until everything kinda looks smooth and right here looks good everything looks smooth Next, what we're going to do is we're going to duplicate our denoised image here. And then I'm going to bring that to the top. So we can see here, this is the gradient. This will be our sky. And then what we're going to do is we're just going to simply do a cutout right here. We're just going to cut that out. And I cut it out using Topaz Remask. Now, you, if you don't have Remask, you could also do this manually by adding a mask here and then just using your... Uh, paintbrush tool and uh, use the uh, the black paintbrush color at about a hundred percent and just start painting back in this area here and this will paint back in that sky but the problem is is now you have to, you're, you're painting in this area of the building and you don't want that so I'll go ahead and just undo that and then step back and we'll just start fresh here and we're just gonna use Topaz Remask. I'm just gonna cut this whole area out here with Remask, and this will be really fast. All right, so here is my Remask window. I'm just gonna use the uh, Compute Brush, the blue brush here, and I'm going to make it just a little bigger. And I'm just going to dab around the uh, the areas here that I want to keep. This is the uh, the building and basically the landscape I'm just gonna cut out the sky from here so this is gonna be really quick and I'm pretty much almost done I'm just gonna do a really quick grab around here and then down here and one more here and connect the dots and then I'm going to go ahead and fill in the sky with the uh, the red bucket here this will tell him tell Topaz Remask I don't want this area and just to keep the foreground image and hit the compute button 
and then this is this will be what it will keep so I'll show you what it's gonna keep here so this is what it's gonna keep it's gonna and then the sky is gonna be uh, that gradient in the background so I'll hit OK and then we will hide this background that's the original background it created a new layer here so I'll just go ahead and delete that all together and then there's our image so this is the uh, this is the image before here so this is the after here so now we have a very smooth sky you can see here very smooth okay so there is some imperfection here and this is pretty easy to fix all we gotta do is click on our top layer here add a layer mask and then use the uh, paintbrush tool here about I would say 50% would be okay and just kind of paint in this area now we could have spent more time on the remask portion um, the remask step and actually built a better mask but I, I didn't do that so we're we'll just do this and I'm not gonna spend time to be perfect I'm just gonna go ahead and just to get it looking better and that looks a lot better so I'll zoom out and there's probably gonna be some imperfections back here too as I would expect and we just use the uh, tool here just to blend back in some of that gradient background and that, that looks good so right here there's a there's a flag here and that's kind of missing from the image we can also bring that back uh, by hitting the uh, gradient and adding the uh, layer mask here and just dabbing in this little area here now bring our mask back in and I can just spend some time to make it perfect here that looks good and everything else looks pretty good there's a, a little splotch here and I think I might just go ahead and use the paintbrush tool here just to remove that whole thing all together we'll just remove it and make it one smooth one smooth ceiling I don't think anyone's gonna complain about missing antennas so okay so there it is this is our final image we have a much smoother sky well that's gonna be it for this tutorial don't forget to sign up for my YouTube channel if you haven't already and don't forget to visit captainchemo.com I have uh, daily photos that I post and if you want to learn more about Topaz Labs I have download links for demos and coupon codes available over there and until next time this is Captain Chemo signing out